Did you really think it was better? Yeah, I think uh, you were much better. The water juggling is really pretty uh, solid. Oh. Definitely. Cool. Hey, a new character. Yeah. Yeah, right. George Wallace in his pre-gubernatorial days. Clayton Moore before his Lone Ranger days. And Dale Van Sickle. He never made a bad film. But Noel Kravitz did. Ronald Davidson, John Davidson's smarter brother. And Franklin and Jack. Hey, come hey. On. Close. Chapter 7, Camouflage Destruction. Commando Cody learns that Graber and Daly are in Clark Mountain. They go after them through Zagnut Valley. <laughs> Watch me, catch me, try to catch me. <laughs> I'm a little rabbit. <laughs> Get here, give yourself up. Try not to get too close to him. But look, I don't argue. Do what I tell you. And what your lips? Straighten your tie. <laughs> don't move. Oh, I mean, you can move a little bit. Uh, you can breathe and stuff. Montana looks left. Drop your gun. He's open. Bars away, and it's incomplete. Oh, that could have been his rotator cuff. Holding towards Earth. Oh, ah. really? Meanwhile, back at the Cody Institute for people who almost die every I got week. I had a flying suit under control just before I crashed, but I'd lost my gun. When I tried to look for Graber and his pal, they had disappeared. They must have taken off to the hills on foot. So where are we now? Oh, think about it, lady. You're in the lab. Except that we do know that Graber's been hanging out at Al's Cafe. They'll probably never show up there again. But I might find somebody around there who knows them. Anyway, I'm going to give it a try. That's his desk, I'll call though. You later. It's just a spare. Feels good, though. Al's Cafe, serving the underworld since 1923. Sure, I've seen him around here and talked to him a few times, but I don't know anything about him. What'd you talk to him about? Well, I'm a mechanic, and the last time they asked me to do some work on a truck motor for him, I couldn't handle the job. So, yesterday it was. I told him to try Benson's over on the south side of town, but I don't know whether they ever went over there or not. Mm -hmm. I'll check up on that. Do you know Benson's address? It's on Central between 14th and 15th, south side of the street. But I don't know his address. Good. Thanks. I'll let you know if they ever turn up here again, Mr. Cody. Good. See you later. Boy, I hate that guy. Meanwhile, back at the casino, the Kino game raged on. Ever kissed a dog? I mean, like, right on the mouth. Rock, calling Reddick. Bill, pick up line one, please. It's your wife, Mr. Reddick. Come in, Croc. We have the new ray gun ready to mount in a well camouflaged truck, Your Excellency. And are prepared to renew our campaign. And our contracts. Look, what are your first objectives? Since the authorities here learned of your planned invasion from the moon, there have been heavy troop movements in this area. We plan to concentrate on destroying troop trains. Very well. Work as fast as possible. We must have Earth's defenses completely disorganized They're before cool. we start our invasion from the moon. Yes, Your Excellency. Yes, Your Excellency. Get a bomb. Hire some thugs. Get new thugs. I'm beginning not to believe this world conquer thing anyway. Is everything ready? Yes. We can pick up the truck and get going. Here are the timetables. The map with the best points of attack indicated. Cover as many of them as you can today. And right. then knock off for a light lunch. You guys have been working hard. No, I don't remember anyone answering that description. But of course, we run a lot of jobs through here, and I don't know all the drivers. How about these trucks that are in here now? Well, this one and this one are a couple of my regular customers. That one's a cross-country job. It came in last night for an ignition check. 
I didn't see who the driver was. The night man took care of it. Okay if I look it over? Sure. Go ahead. This little honey? Oh, yeah. It's a smart little number. I can see you're a man who knows his trucks. This one's got all the candy. Going after Moon Man, this is perfect. It's a real honey. Yep, real crates and everything. Hi. Hey, what's going on? Frisco. Stay out of this or you'll get hurt. Now, look, I don't want any trouble in here. So I'm just going to hit you with this crowbar. Hey, Joel, do mechanics bite better than scientists do? Well, they often have heavy wrenches in their hands, so they do a lot better. No. Oh. Nobody touches my snap-on tools. Cool. This hey. is a little thing I made. I knew we'd use them sometime. Oh. What do you need, huh? Hey, that guy wrenched his back. He really socketed that guy. <laughs> He's hammered. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, he bench pressed it. <laughs> oh, look, he's getting tired. What a retread. It's the Vice Squad. It's John Cleese, you bastard. Let's roll. He's getting used to being beat up. Yeah, he's not even hurt. He must have been using nerf tools or something. Not even a scratch. Under roofs are fun to wear. A truckload of radios was a And I can fly from here to Hold there. The fake door. I'm sure they're planning on hiding something inside. Probably a ray gun. That's what I'm afraid of. They'll probably start blasting again any time now. I've sent Ted out to the airport to stand by on a plane with some light bombs. He hasn't been able to lift heavy bombs since his hernia. Attacks, I'll fly out and try to locate that truck, then radio Ted to bomb it. Cody Laboratory. Ah, uh, Mr. Cody, I'm so upset. They just blasted a troop train on the east end of Carson Valley. I'm right, sure I'm by right myself, on. and I don't know what to do. Please help. They just blasted a troop train on the east end of Carson Valley. Radio Ted to take off and I'll find up one fly around out there. I'll contact him as soon as I spot the truck. Right away. Hello, Domino's. Calling Ted Richards. Calling Ted Richards. Nipple, nipple, twig, twig. Why? Whoa! Boy, he's got a nasty tailwind. Must have been something he ate. Shouldn't they take off before they cropped us? Unless we're doing ginseng. Yeah, ginseng. Fly the plane, Ted. Get the girl, Ted. Oh, I'm going to show him something. Calling Ted Richards. Who is it? Come in. Who do you think, Dolt? It's going along a dirt road just east of the end of the valley. I'll be right with you. Okay. I'll keep them in sight until you show up. Does Cody normally travel with a full radio pack on? It's his radio flyer. Flying ham outfit. Hey, UPS, Cody must be tracing a package or something. Now, this is the third time I've done this camouflage destruction scene, so listen up. Cody's after us again. We'll stop him. Use the rifle. I should stop him. Pull! Oh, Look I out. missed him. Drift left. Pull! They got homicide doors on that thing. Did you get them? No, but I scared them off. So we can fly back and tell the cops where we are? So what? By the time they get out here, we'll be long gone. Ted. Ted. Who is 
said, it's me. It's always going to be me. Whoever calls you, it's me. that door for you. Yeah. Yeah, just put that stuff in the back. I kind of live in my plane. But, you know, if you want to put the seat back, go ahead. You know, just make yourself comfortable. What is? The truck's just ahead. Fly over that dirt road. Okay. Where are the box? Right there. Oh, could you guys have found a smaller bomb? What are the odds of a moving plane hitting a moving target with a moving bomb that looks like a pineapple? Jeez. Oh, great. Double O Cody. Do you have a license to kill now, Mr. Cody? What was that? Oh, just an exploding dip in the road. There's a plane up there. He must have bombed us. And it looks like he's coming back for another try. Uh-oh. We'll give it a blast with our ray gun. That was pretty close, but drop down a little lower next time. This okay. time use a water balloon, that'll really scare him. Hold it up right there. Hold it up. Okay, let's see. Bathroom stuff, books, knickknacks, kids' room. Hey, where's that ray gun anyway? Oh! But stay in the okay. plane, Ted. Hurry up! He's diving on us again. Oh, blast from the Chevy horn. You missed. Aim too quick. Turn the truck around. I get another shot at it. Right. Well, they missed, but how are we going to get a cliffhanging ending for this episode? You know, my flying helmet's really hard on my scalp, Ted. How do you keep yours so smooth and young looking besides using shellac all the time? Well, that's the end. Next week, a new character for sure. There's no way you can get a guy out of that. Uh -uh. Thank you.